After the 16-day Fifth Sea Trial in the Yellow Bois High Sea, Fujian ship returned to Chongqing Island Shipyard Pier on December 3 for rest and recuperation. After just 24 days, the latest sea trial of Fujian ship will start again soon. China's third aircraft carrier Fujian is about to undergo its sixth sea trial. The Shanghai Maritime Safety Administration, MSA, announced on the evening of December 26, as usual, that the traffic control of the Yangtze River estuary is scheduled for December 28. Based on past events, it is likely that Fujian will continue to sail northward to the Yellow Sea, during which the carrier's power and electrical systems will be tested. As the year 2024 is coming to an end, this means that the Fujian ship will not be on vacation during the New Year's Day and will be fully committed to the progress of the sea trial to speed up the process of the carrier's commissioning. Recall that the first sea trial of Fujian ship ended on May 8 and the second sea trial was conducted on May 23. 14 days apart. The second sea trial ended on June the 11th, followed by the third sea trial on July the 3rd, with an interval of 21 days. The third sea trial was completed on July the 28th, and the fourth sea trial was launched on September the 3rd, with an interval of 36 days. The fourth sea trial was completed on September the 19th, and the fifth sea trial began on November the 18th, with an interval of 60 days. The fifth sea trial was completed on December the 3rd, and the sixth sea trial was launched on December the 28th, with an interval of 24 days. The reason why the Fujian carrier's sixth sea trial has attracted so much attention is that this sea trial will most likely be carried out on the carrier's blocking and catapulting experiments. Currently we can see through the network pictures, Fujian ship on the deck without a carrier model, the runway in the middle of the catapult control room, can be seen to be raised state. Four blocking cable is also ready. Obviously this sea trial Fujian ship has cleared the deck, indicating that the hangar deck scheduling this set of processes have been completely figured out, do not need to practice again. Moreover, for China's Fujian carrier, its supporting subsystems, especially the carrier aircraft system, are basically ready. We've already seen the J-15T carrier aircraft unveiled at the Zhuhai Air Show and the J-15DT electronic station model has also been unveiled at the same time. The J-35T stealth carrier aircraft and the Airborne Police 600 AWACS test flight photos are all over the internet, and they may be put into the landing and takeoff experiments of the Fujian aircraft carrier at any time. It can be said that the type of carrier aircraft carried by the Fujian aircraft carrier is ready for everything, just waiting for the Fujian aircraft carrier to further advance all the experiments. The sixth sea trial of the Fujian aircraft carrier is only 20 days after the last one, which is enough to show that the Fujian aircraft carrier should be quite smooth in the sea trial process, which is enough to show that the Fujian aircraft carrier should be quite smooth in the sea trial process. As the first large-scale flat deck carrier developed by China and equipped with the world's first medium-voltage DC electromagnetic catapult and arresting system, the sea trial program should be very tedious and complicated. From the speed of progress, it is clear that Fujian should be relatively smooth in the experiments, otherwise it would not be in such a short period of time to carry out the next sea trial. And the last time it returned to port, the Fujian ship's blocking landing area showed visible tire tracks, so it should have undergone a touch-and-go ray flight test. After all, this is an experiment that both Liaoning and Shandong carriers have conducted before, and Fujian carrier needs to go through such a process as well. According to the most basic process, the last time to touch the ship to fly again should be J-15T carrier aircraft. After all, this is the first catapulted version of China's shipboard aircraft has been made public. The J-15T has already undergone comprehensive experiments at the land training center, so it can be said that there should be no problem at all in boarding the Fujian aircraft carrier. What we need to test now is whether the electromagnetic catapult and arresting system of Fujian carrier can reach the design index, and whether the electromagnetic catapult and arresting system can play its function stably and effectively. Of course, these test indicators will certainly continue to move forward with the experimental approach, which is also testing the design standards, while also accumulating experience in related areas. This for the follow-up of other models of catapult and blocking experiments to lay a good foundation for the experiments of each model to do a good job in advance. From May the 1st Fujian aircraft carrier first sea trial, to now seven months time, Fujian ship has been six times sea trial, almost every month at sea, sea trial intensity is very high. According to such a sea trial frequency, obviously the Fujian aircraft carrier's maritime advancement speed is very fast. If the Shandong ship nine times sea trial comparison, Fujian ship as soon as in March to April next year will be able to completely end the sea trial. Therefore, 
for the sixth sea trial of Fujian, obviously is the top priority, after all. The carrier's catapult and blocking experiment is to test the Fujian aircraft carrier electromagnetic catapult and blocking system of the ultimate big test. If the Fujian piece can successfully pass the experiment, this means that China's electromagnetic catapult and blocking technology has completely succeeded. Compared to the U.S., Ford-class aircraft carriers, which have been criticized for not being able to form an effective combat force, I'm afraid that China's Fujian carrier will become a new benchmark for electromagnetic catapult and blocking technology for aircraft carriers in the world.